I speak in a loud voice, the agony of choice. What do you mean? What am I to glean? When you have option just one, I speak in a manner not glum. You have nothing to decide. My feelings I shan't hide. When several paths beckon, then I reckon one has to choose. On this I muse. Shall I select this, that or the other? I think to myself, pater and mother. Get puzzled, baffled rather. I don't mind admitting father. I speak in a manner not grand. Happy on the one hand, that I've got alternatives quite a few. It is totally, completely true. I dither and vacillate, my friend, my mate. Will I regret my choice later? I can't help thinking, pater. I blink and I think. Is this the path right, with a touch of fright? I speak without a hurry. There is no need to worry. Of the world, this is not the end. My baby, my mum, my baby, my chum, my friend. Be that as it may, allow me to say, it would be magic to come to the topic. Confused will discuss without a fuss. Allow me to say this, and adjective it most certainly is. I speak in a manner slow, it is used in ways four. The first use let us discuss without a hint of a fuss. They are confused about what is going on. Do explain in a manner warm. To do what you ask, I've never refused. Bewildered, puzzled, bemused. A word three we can see. My knowledge I've never disguised. Perplexed, nonplussed, mystified. A word three according to me. Synonymous descriptions the thesaurus doesn't lack. Muddled, dumbfounded, taken aback. A three we see. I speak in a manner not at all cross, disoriented, at a loss. Are descriptions too in my view? Disconcerted at sea, according to me. Are descriptions too, it is true. I am not at all rattled, a word is baffled. Softly, gently I mutter, some informal words do utter. By the variety of such words, I am amazed, flummoxed, bamboozled, clueless, phased.